In this state, the legacy of Senator Kennedy is well known, and part of that legacy is being willing to compromise, working with Republicans. Can you name some Republicans in the Senate today that you are able to work with on big issues, substantive issues that the country faces? Oh, I think probably Richard Lugar would be one that would come to mind. Well, but let me. There. He's not going to be there. <laughs> he's not going to be there. Let, let so me. So who else could you name, <laughs> Senator? That is a problem. Let, let me let me do this one slide. Let me just well, let, no. Let, let me, me do this. Let me just ask the question though. Are there any Republicans who are actually going to be in the Senate that you feel you, you could work with substantively and compromise with? Look, I, it depends on what the subject matter is. Let me give you an example. On the question of Fannie and Freddie, That's we're going to have Man, to Freddie Mac, Fannie Mae and Freddie uh, Mac. GSEs who guarantee 90% of That's the mortgages exactly in the right. country. That's exactly right. The Republicans have said across the spectrum, we need to revise Fannie and Freddie. I think they're right. And I think that's an issue on which I can work with virtually every Republican in the United States Senate, because it's an important issue for financing mortgages for people across this country. And it's something I can do. And let me say, I've actually had experience working across the aisle. When I first went to Washington was during the financial crisis in 2008. Uh, and I was the head of a bipartisan commission, Republicans and Democrats. We took on some of the most difficult and challenging issues facing the country. We made reports and recommendations every 30 days. And I'm very proud to say that about half of our recommendations were unanimous. We started with a basic principle that we could agree on about what was happening during the crisis or a particular problem, and we worked out from there to build something that was useful. But at the end of the day, the reason I'm in this race is not about partisanship. It's about working families. I will work with anyone, Democrat, Republican, Independent, Libertarian, Vegetarian, if they will work for America's right, families. Senator, I about, think that's so what it's about. You talk about bipartisanship. One of your first votes, if you are reelected, would be to cast a vote for majority leader or minority leader, depending upon how all these races turn out. Would you vote for Mitch McConnell to be the leader of the Republicans? If I could just respond. Uh, can you just answer that question no, and then you go I'd, on? I'd like to respond to what you said. And just then answer I'll, that I'm, question. It's a simple yes or no question. Would you vote for David, McConnell this or not? Is, this is a debate, and I'd like to have a chance to respond, and then I'll answer your okay. question. Thank you. Um, with regard to working with somebody, with regard to working with any person on the opposite uh, side of the aisle, she couldn't reference one person except someone who's retiring, a truly bipartisan gentleman, Senator Luger. Uh, I have a history since day one. My third vote was voting for Harry Reid and the President's Jobs Package. I have a history of working across the aisle, 54 percent with my party. Every other member of the delegation is 93, 94 percent and above. Professor Warren would be 100 percent. Now, when it comes to dealing with the majority or minority leader, I've already let it be very clearly known to Mitch McConnell that I'm completely disgusted as to what's going on down there. And uh, he has a lot of work to do to earn my vote because I don't work for him or Harry Reid. That's the beauty of being independent. When I walk in, I can go and vote however I want. And you've seen it. You've talked about it. You, it, you have evidence of it. There's absolutely no evidence that Professor Warren would be voting and working across the aisle because no other member of the delegation right now does it. No, very few members of the Democratic Party right now do it. Uh, thank goodness we have people like me and others like me, uh, Senator Snow, Senator Carper, Senator Collins, Senator Luger. There are other people down there who can actually get things done. So, so undecided about undecided. McConnell. Undecided. I've already made it very okay. clear with um, him. So